Hey guys, Alexina here, your Spanish teacher, just tuning in to uh, tell you that I'm alive and well, and I hope the same for you. Thank you for the hard work that I believe most of you have been doing. I appreciate it and keep it up. I'm going to explain to you the command form and all of the weird things that happen in the command form. We're going to start with a basic. We've been learning command forms for usted and ustedes. Now, who are these people? Well, usted is you formal and it's abbreviated UD. Ustedes is you plural, so it's abbreviated U-D-S. When I have a command in the usted form, I'm commanding you to do something. When I have a command in the ustedes form, I'm commanding you all to do something. Now, the command form, the basics, are just taking an A-R-E-R-I-R -E -R verb, putting it first in the yo form. Okay, so we have A-R verb hablar, yo form is hablo, comer, yo form is como, escribir, Yo form is escribo. Then we have to add the correct endings for the command form. For an AR verb, we add an E ending. So if I command you to talk, it's hable. If I command you all to talk, it's hablen. For an ER or IR verb, the endings are A or AN. If I command you to eat or write, it's coma or escriba. If I command you all to eat or write, it's coman or escriban. That's the basics. Now, why would we put it in the yo form first? Some of you all have been forgetting to do that and it has messed you up because some verbs are irregular in the yo form. For example, poner, tener, and hacer. Poner means to put or place, tener means to have, and hacer means to do. In the yo form, they are pongo, tengo, and hago. Because they are irregular, they take irregular forms in the command. Um, they are all ER verbs, so we're going to follow the rule for the ER verb and give it an A or an AN ending. So the command form for poner is ponga or pongan. For tener, it is tenga or tengan. And for hacer, it is aga or agan. Very important to remember. Next, we have verbs that are stem changing. Once again, it's helpful to put them in the yo form first so that you can see the stem changes that happen. Ervir to boil, freyer to fry, and servir to serve. Ervir has an e to ie, freyer has an e to i, servir has an e to i. So you take that yo form of the verb and they are all ir verbs, so we're going to use the ir ending of an a or an for the command form. To command you to boil, it will be yerva. To command you all to boil, it will be yervan. To command you to fry, it will be fria. You all to fry, it will be frian. To command you to serve, it will be sirva. To command you all to serve, it will be sirvan. So as you can see, we're still doing these regular endings, just like a regular verb, but if it has an irregular yo form or an irregular stem change, you need to take note of that. There are more things that are strange about our command forms, and those are our irregulars. We have five irregular verbs this chapter. They are dar, to give, estar, to be, emotions, ser, to be, physical characteristics, saber, to know, and ir, to go. They are all irregular. Some of you failed to look that up in your book. To tell you to give, I say de. To tell you all, den. To tell you to be, este. To tell you all to be, esten. To tell you to be physical characteristics, like be good, sea. To tell you all, sean. To tell you to know something, it is sepa. To tell you all to know something, it is sepan. To tell you to go, it is vaya. To tell you all to go, it is vayan. To change any command form into a negative command, like don't give me, no de, don't be, no este, don't be, no sea, don't know, no sepa, don't go, no vaya. Just put no in the front to make it a don't command. Same thing for these up here, no hable, no coma, no escriba. They are, they mean to not do that thing. Um, next, there's more irregulars. We have verbs that end in a C-A-R, G-A-R, or Z-A-R. Buscar ends in a C-A-R, it means to look for. Pagar ends in a G-A-R, it means to pay. And begin means to start or begin, and it ends in a Z-A-R. 
in the command form, this C-A-R becomes a Q-U-E. Busque, look for. This G-A-R becomes a G-U-E. Pague, pay. And this Z-A-R becomes a C-E. Empiece, start or begin. Um, C-A-R-Q-U-E, G-A-R-G-U-E, Z-A-R-C-E. Empezar also has an E to I-E stem change, which is why this is an I-E and not an E. Lastly, we have attaching direct or indirect objects to the end of our commands. If I give you the sentence, give me the cake, give me the cake. This is going to be on the assignment I give you. What's the verb to give? It's dar. What's the command form? It's de. Now what am I going to attach? Give me the cake. De me el pastel. Give me the cake. De me el pastel. I connected the me to the end of the command. Let's do another one. Um, boil them. Boil them. Well, what are we boiling exactly? I will always tell you what it is that is them. Boil them. Boil the carrots. Carrots are las zanahorias. So we know that the indirect object or direct object pronoun is las because carrots are las zanahorias. Boil them. What's the verb to boil? It's air, vir. Does it have an irregular yo form or stem change or is it irregular? Yes, it has a stem change, e to i e. So the command form is yerva. Now how are we going to say boil them, them being carrots? Yervalas. One word. Boil them. Attach it to the end. Now you cannot do this with uh, negative commands. So if I tell you don't give me the cake or don't boil them, then I cannot attach de me and I cannot attach yervalas. Instead, I need to just say don't give me the cake. No me de el pastel. No me de el pastel. Don't give me the cake. That me that was attached to the day now is in the front. Now it's before the verb. Don't boil them. I can't say yervalas. I can't say no yervalas. I can't attach to a negative command. So I'm going to say no las yerva. No las yerva. The las that was attached to the end in the positive command is now before the verb. No las hierba, don't boil them. Once again, them is las because it's las zanahorias. Okay, that is all the weird things that you might um, find whenever you are doing the assignment that I'm about to give you. The assignment I'm about to give you is worth 100 points, like a test grade. Um, you can watch this video as many times as you want. You can pause this video to take the answers from it. You can also use the document that I'm going to send you that has all of these weird irregulars and rules explained in it. There's no reason why you can't get a great, a great grade on this assignment. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. Good luck.